Hi there, my name is Andrew and I'm the ranger here at Gunners Park and Shubri Old Rangers and welcome to Serum Pond. So this is Serum Pond and this little area is just to the southeast of the main car park at Gunners Park and this little pond has always been a fantastic location for dragonflies to emerge and occupy the area. Historically we've had black-tailed skimmers, darters, four-spot chasers and emperors all emerge. We've even seen the emperors just recently emerging. But recently, in the last four years or so, we have had southern migrant hawker dragonflies emerge from this pond. This pond has required quite a lot of management and let me show you why. We have uh, Typha latifolia in this pond. And last year, after about four years, this whole pond was completely choked out with this typha. And so in this winter, we had a large digger come in, a contractor came in with a large 360 digger and basically removed all of the spoil and all of the typha from that area there to create these lovely open areas for dragonflies to emerge and overposit. So I've just nipped over to the far side of the pond. And as well as the dragonflies that I mentioned, we've had willow emerald, scarce emerald, red-eyed damselfly, common blues and azures all recorded from this location in the pond area. So yeah, the, the dragonflies that we get through here is quite varied, but the one that I really like to, to chat about is the uh, southern migrant hawker. So this is a recent arrival from the continent. Um, been here maybe about 10 years in this area, maybe a bit less. We started getting reports of them crossing Kent at Cliff Pools. And the Thames estuary itself is becoming a really great place for invertebrates. And the southern migrant hawker is one that shows that uh, these species can colonize all the way along the, the estuary. It uh, then started to move across, got reported in places like Bowers, and then Watt Tyler, and then Hockley Woods of all places, where there is a very good population at the moment. And then a couple of years ago, four years ago, we, uh, we picked up southern migrant hawker here, just hovering over the pond. And ever since then, every year, we've had Southern Migrant Hawker emerge from this area and then move across the park to hunt and, and hover and perch up. So this pond is becoming a really important little area for, for dragonflies and uh, we'll continue to manage it for that. So if you are able, in your own home, to create a little pond area that is always quite useful for uh, Odonata or dragonflies and damselflies. This gives them an area to emerge and potentially overposit 